Plastic optical fiber, or POF, is typically used in multi-mode data links over distances of less than 300 meters. In a wind turbine, it may connect sensors to machine controls or be used to transmit data to and from a local area network. POF cable consists of a transparent plastic core protected by a plastic sheet. Compared to glass optical fibers, POF is much more durable and easier to work with, but data speeds are lower. The core is much larger in diameter than a glass fiber core, but the cable is still only 1.5 or 2.2 millimeters in diameter. POF cables are often used with visible wavelength lasers as a light source. The cables are very flexible and may be bent to a small radius. Several different termination systems are available. This system requires the technician to make a clean, straight cut using the supplied tool. Next, the end of the cable is polished with a special cloth. Each time the dispenser is opened, a clean section of cloth is pulled into position. Lightly polish the end by rubbing in one direction only. This avoids dragging contaminants across the fiber. Push the terminal end onto the cable until it is completely seated and the connection is finished. Technicians may use test instruments to determine if POF is transmitting a signal. A visual fault finder sends a visible laser through the cable. If the cable is intact, the light will be seen at the other end. The pulse function in this tester helps make the light easier to see. Since some systems use laser light wavelengths that are not visible to the eye, a tester like the one shown is useful. If light with a wavelength between 630 nanometers and 1600 nanometers is passing through the cable, a test light illuminates and a tone sounds. In this example, the tester detects the room light passing through the cable. A fault indication is given if no room light is detected. Tools and techniques for working with plastic optical fiber may differ based on the system used, so be sure to consult the applicable manuals before beginning work.